Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, let us see how to write min term and max term expressions from the truth table. That is nothing but generation of switching expressions from the truth table. By using those switching expressions, finally we need to decode and write the min term and max term expressions. So let me take an example of this truth table. So this is my first example. By taking this truth table, now we need to write the min term and max term expressions. So first let me write min term expressions for this. So to write the min term expression for this particular truth table values. First thing is that we need to consider this output term. Here the output variable is y and this y is function of a and b. So here the general expression is that this y is a function of a comma b. So for this f of a comma b or y we need to write the min term expression. So how to write the min term expression for this? The first thing is that we need to consider where and all this y is 1. Here y is generated as 1 and here this output y is generated as 1. So now we need to consider these two cases what actually the input is. In this one generation, the inputs are 0 and 1 here. So, here the expression for this would, will be like, let me write it as y is equal to, if a is equal to 0, while writing the min term expression, we are supposed to consider this 0 as a complement. So, I am writing it as a bar and with this b is 1. So, b1 in the sense we need to write it as b as it is. And here we are writing the mean term, we need to multiply these two. So, this term is a bar into b. So, this is one term plus we have one more one here in the output. So, to consider this, what are the inputs here? 1 and 0. So, this is 1 in place of 1, I need to write it as a into b bar why because it is 0. So this is the switching expression for this truth table. So to convert this into the min term expression by decoding this in place of a bar I need to treat it as 0 and b is a true term it has 1. Similarly here a means it is 1 it is complement means 0. 0 1 means it is 1. So it is m1 1 0 means it is m2 the value is 2. So I am going to write this as y is equal to f of a comma b is the function it is giving the mean term expression as with summation 1 comma 2. This is the mean term expression for this truth table. Similarly how to write the max term expression. So the max term expression for this particular truth table will be like this. So here while writing the max term expression we need to consider where zeros are there at the output. Here in the two cases in this case and in this case the output will be 0. So we need to consider this 0 output and start decoding and start considering the inputs. Here also y will be the function of a comma b and the switching expression for this is Carefully observe here while taking the max terms into consideration here this is 0 I am considering the inputs are 0 0. In place of 0 we are supposed to write it as true component A and since it is a max term we need to write it as plus B is also 0 so B as it is. This is one term for this 0. Now I am considering this one more 0 is there at the truth table output. So for this a is 1 and b is 1. So if it is 1 1 I am going to take it as a bar plus b bar. Now this is the switching expression for the to generate the max term expression using max terms. So here again if this is a and b what is the value here 0 0 this is 0 0 a bar b bar means it is 1 1 so 1 1 
what is 0 0 that is max term 0 this is max term 2 plus 1 3 so we need to represent this y that is f of a comma b in terms of max terms using pi representation pi of 0 comma 3 this is the mean term expression and this is the max term expression for the given truth table so let me take a complex example here this is example 2 let us write the mean term and max term expression for this truth table so first let me write the mean term expression so to write the mean term expression what we are supposed to do first we need to consider where and all one is generated at the output these are the three cases we will be having one so we need to look at what are the combination of inputs we have so here the output is m so i am going to write it as m is the output expression it is a function of a comma b comma m comma s don't get confused with this small m and capital m here just for the variable it is taken as capital m and small m it is not corresponds to min term or max term okay let it be so here how to write this here for this one i am writing it as a bar so this is a bar here b is 1 m is 1 and s is 1 so a bar into b into m into s this is the first term here again one more one is there at the output so i need to consider this combination of inputs here it is plus a into b bar into this is 1 and 1 so into m into s so this is for this output so i need to consider the third output now it is 1 here all inputs are 1 1 1 1 so i need to write it as a into b into m into s so this is what the switching expression here again if you are getting multiple uh, okay this is the switching expression so now let me convert this into code a bar is 0 b1 m is 1 s is 1 here a is 1 0 1 1 and uh, this is 1 1 1 1 what is 0 1 1 1 it is 7 this is m7 what is 1 0 1 1 it is 11 so m11 1 1 1 1 is 15 so m15 so here this m is an function of a comma b comma m comma s inputs it will be equal to summation of 1 sorry 7 comma 11 comma 15 so this is the main term expression for this so now let us write the max term expression for the same truth table now what we need to consider wherever the outputs are generated as 0 we need to consider that so here it is 0 here it is 0 here it is 0 0 0 0 0 these are all the outputs generated as 0 we need to consider these okay now for the max term expression here it is 0 i am considering this first output and a b m s are zeros so here since it is a max term wherever 0 is there we need to take the true value that is a like that so m is the output is equal to what i need to write here a plus b plus m plus s see here all inputs are zeros so i am taking it as a not a bar here while writing the max term expression so here into those so for the second zero if i am going to write zero 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 one is there so i need to write it as a plus b plus m plus here one is there so i am writing it as s bar okay into so the next one here it is a plus b plus m is 1 so i am writing it as m bar plus s into similarly it is uh, third one is done this is done this is done 
this is done now i am writing this so 0 0 1 1 is there so a plus b plus m bar plus s bar the fourth one is done so for the fifth one 0 1 double 0 is there so for 0 i am going to write like this for 1 it is b bar so two zeros m plus s so similarly it continues okay you try it out try to write all the expressions so finally i am going to give what actually the max term expression we are going to get a comma b comma m comma s it will be represented with pi of here we need to decode it as here also you can see 0 0 0 0 uh, this is 0 0 0 0 means this is max term 0 so here 0 comes similarly this is 0 0 0 1 so 1 similarly we are going to get 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 8 9 10 12 13 and 14 so this much we are going to get as a max term expression here one thing you can observe if you get the min term expression like this 7 11 15 here the max term expression will not be having these values why because we are considering zeros here while generating the max term expression to write the switching expression we are considering one wherever one is there for the min term expression so here obviously whatever the values we are going to get here in the min term will not be there in max term the remaining uh, values will be there in min term we can say this is how we can convert any truth table into the switching expression using min terms and max terms thank you